And now for something different. Another time and space, a parallel universe is falling on its face. When out of the chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurers from SPACE! Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! Mutants and aliens and toads beware! You're looking for adventure? Well, this is it! With Jenny Dead Eye Blinky and Willie to win! I said, Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! I'm now the Dagon! Bucky O'Hare on the Toad War! In the battle of the universe, you don't know what's next! You only know amphibians are made it complex! When you check out your scanner, Evil that it won't, there's only one course of action! Let's cook us some toast! Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare! If your righteous indignation has suffered a hit! And your photon accelerator is broken a bit! And you're losing your mind, and you're having a fit! Get the funky fresh rabbit who can take care of it! To Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! You say Bucky! That's Bucky! Bucky O'Hare! Let's croak us some toast! Hey, hey, it's AC the Consular, getting ready to croak some toads and buck you here by Konami. This was probably one of my favorite cartoons growing up as a kid. I <laughs> truly don't remember why. I mean, I was like five or six at the time. It's got a green rabbit. Gonna do a little post-commentary here, so let's get this game started. See what's going on. We had that exciting intro to go here to start off the show, and or this episode, and call it a show. What am I doing here? So I'm talking about... What's going on in this? Oh, we're flying around the anniverse. Whoa! And our crew was with the righteous indignation suffered a hit. Oh man! Oh, the kid at my party! Damn you! Blink on the green, dead eye on the red, Gen eye on the blue, and Willy on the yellow. We gotta go to all those four different planets, go and save them. Oh, Air Marshal, you son of a gun! Look at our bucktooth buddy right here. Gonna go ahead, crook some toads, take on the Toad Armada, if you will. And we're going to go ahead, show these punks who's boss. So you see we can go green, red, blue, yellow planet. These are our four choices to start off with. Uh, there's a particular order I like to follow with here. Let's uh, see if you can start here with the blue planet here, just to give you a heads up. I just had that highlighted because I wanted to emphasize. You go to the blue planet without one of the characters, you're going to lose. There's no way to beat it without one of the characters. Why they set it up that way? I don't know. But let's go ahead and run on through and see how well we can do here. Expect me to die a lot. This is a very difficult side scroller, but it's such a blast and gives me that, you know, reminiscent feeling of the past and getting to play a game from a cartoon I loved as a kid. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it as well. Just flying through that first screen. Second screen here, we gotta go. Oh, bees! Sorry there, uh, Tim. Had to steal that line from you, buddy. Uh, so, yeah, what we gotta do here is climb up this tree here. I wonder if it's going to lead to an epic drop-down. Spoiler alert, it will. Yeah, I figured, you know, this was something that we could do as a little bit of a, a change of pace from all the traditional JRPGs I've done. And, you know, oh, damn, beats got me! And that the sense, it's like, you know, pretty much all the games I've done so far have been traditional JRPGs, minus Super Mario World and... Bastion. Everything else I think has been a traditional JRPG of some sort. So I figured this change of pace and introduce you guys to maybe something. Get the fuck off me, me! Oh, and this damn nest here takes a while to get rid of. And inchworm slapping me around. Never, never enjoying having an inchworm slapping me in the face. Maybe if it's a six inchworm. Hello! Anyways. <laughs> Alright, so we got some more traveling to do here. Got up the tree and. Now we got these trees here, which will fall underneath you, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, let me know in the comments below, guys, if you've ever heard of Bucky O'Hare, or if you used to watch the cartoon back in the day. I think it was only around for one season. Oh, there we go, guys. Get the death count going. So, yeah, I think it was only around for one season, but I don't know what it was with that show. I just absolutely loved it, and I'm trying to remember if the cartoon came out first or the game came out first I, I know that there was a comic book series I truthfully don't know how popular the comics were or anything but shit I, I love the game and I, I love the cartoon series so 13 season 13 seasons yes 13 episodes in all I was just you know big fan of the characters I had a lot of the toys as well I remember this one I used to have where it's like the giant frog ship that you guys saw 
And but what you could do is like you could smash it on the other toys you had, right? And every time you do it, it'd make a croak noise. So you smash it down and you go, Brrr! it was pretty freaking awesome. But when you're a little kid, I also remember I had the Willy DeWitt action figures. You guys probably, hopefully you remember from the cartoon intro that I showed at the beginning there. I don't know what I did, but I messed with his uh, glasses a little bit. And I like put them in the living room and I saw him. I just, he scared the shit out of me the way he was looking. He was looking kind of scared, guys, with his glasses all jacked up. He kind of had the evil grimace on his face. Guys, remember, I was five at the time. Don't expect too much out of me. So I, uh, that's something as a child, like, it's crazy, like, I can remember so much Bucky O'Hare related activities. Oh, damn, look at all these freaking frog ships trying to take us out. Gotta dodge all these bullets. Very nice. Oh, not so nice there. Uh, what else did I remember? Oh, they also had a really, really fun, uh, arcade game I used to play. It was, uh, it was a side-scroller similar to, say, Simpsons and X-Men and... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, boss time real quick. Let me uh, introduce this guy real quick. Granted, guys, I'm not going to know any of these baddies' names, but I'll remember. Here's the strategy. First time, just take a few hits. No big deal. You got the light bar. Uh, the main thing to do is see that giant boulder he throws? Avoid it at all costs, because if he hits you with it, you're going to die. No, no joke. It's instant death. You will die. So watch out for that for sure. But yeah, the, the arcade game, I remember, was such a freaking blast, and... I was always cracking up because from, I, I'd forgotten like the specifics of it, but I'd seen some of the, someone on YouTube playing it not that long ago. Wait, that was it? Oh, okay, just shoot the guy in the back and he's gonna die. But yeah, that, because Blinky, one of the characters, he's itty bitty robot. Holy hell, they blew him up in this game, he's the size of everyone else. That's crazy talk. Speaking of crazy talk, and Blinky. Thank you, Captain. I have rescued a toad weapon that will smash balls of ice and snow. I don't know why he talks like that, but in the selfie he will. It also acts as a rocket pack, Captain O'Hare, allowing you to fly. The only way we can fly around is if we have Blinky in the party. But anyways, guys, we completed the first planet. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here. So, like always, check me out on Twitter, Facebook, all that good jazz. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Till next time, guys, this is The Consular, and I will see ya. This is my jam, baby. Mm.